Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today This is just an intro video because honestly I recorded this video a couple days ago already But my dumbass accidentally deleted the intro. So here's just a little preview right there as to what it is Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video Please excuse the gap in time or the gap in like setup for the clip Yeah, I deleted the intro the original intro to this video. So this is the intro now. Hope you guys enjoy it anyway Okay, so the setup's gonna be a little bit different today, just cause um, I had help on the other video, and today I yeah I don't have help, so I'm gonna try to do this uh, by myself. So hopefully it goes pretty well. So I just want to show you guys the things that he comes with. Um, he comes with like, this little Mezitz accessory. Now I don't know if they're still doing that little competition, but let me know down below, guys. I got the red one with the uh, green M. I don't know if that thing is anything special anymore. Comes with a Mezco sticker, which is always a nice touch. I love stickers. Um, I used to be a skateboarder, and you know, sticker slapping is like a major thing. And then it just gives you guys a little ad of what's coming up next. So Mezco toys. So this is gonna be none other than the Spot uh, blah, blah. Mezco 112 Collective Spider Man homemade suit and i'm surprised i thought the box was going to be a little bit bigger i didn't realize it was this small but let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging and show you guys but real quick first off i just want to show you guys the box so it says spider-man homecoming right here homemade suit mezco sticker right there marvel mezco right there the little emblem right there and then the nice box art i think the box art is pretty cool because like I have the Batman Beyond Mezco and then I know like I think like the Mark 42 Iron Man when it has like the exclusive like the Mezco exclusives they have um, just full on art on the back so let's go ahead and take him out and see what he's all about now here I have all his accessories laid out and he actually comes with this I didn't I, I figured that he'd come with it because he came with all the other Spider-Man figures but I didn't actually know that it came with it when I took it out of the box so just to show you guys the display base all Mezco's come with it. Pretty nice. It's uh, it's kind of texturized. If you guys saw my last video uh, with the Thor Ragnarok, I'll, I'd let you know how I like it because it's like really, really texturized. This one, not really. It feels like it's just like an imprint that they just slapped on there. So I'm moving that to the side. And then the little accessory for the, the magnet piece. So how there's a magnet on the back here. And then you can clamp this guy on to like whatever surface that you guys can that's magnetic and then have him like pretty much wall climb and chill out over there. The next one is the bendable uh, web slinging. If I can get that focus, there you go. So the bendable uh, web here, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I don't know how about the ends. Maybe I feel like they could have done like one end, uh, one design and the other end a different design, but that's just me. Uh, this is my first Spider-Man Mezco figure, so I'm not going to be like picky or whatever. I'm just going to be grateful that I have it. <laughs> and then he comes with two shooter webs. One is closed at the end. Right there. And then one open one as such. Like that. There you go. All right. Hopefully that's in focus. Yeah. So I think this one's pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Um, you can, it shows like a dynamic ability with it. And then he comes with three sets of hands and then one um, right hand by itself. It is, what is it, a thumbs up? Actually, no, this is the gripping one to where you can grip onto the uh, the bendable web so he can do his web slinging abilities all throughout the city. And then here is the like wall wall crawling stylized hands show you guys right there now the detail on this is pretty cool i like how every hand comes with the focus focus there we go comes with the little like web shooter thing on the inside of the palm and then these two hands aren't exactly exactly alike like the right hand is more open and then this one is more like the left hand is more angled with his fingers so I think that's pretty cool. Comes with his web slinging hands, his 
flipping hands, as some people like to call it. So, right there. Nice. Iconic with Spider-Man. You know, very, very iconic. And I've seen some figures, when they have this uh, web flipping hand or whatever, um, the, actually the device is showing, so I think it's cool how they hide it. And then as you can see there, they have the notches to where you can essentially just insert the web like that, like into the peg, and then just plug it into the arm to show, uh, to pretty much be tightly secured. And then last but not least, it is the Tom Holland, Peter Parker head sculpt. Now, I know people, some people are saying that the ball joint on the neck, inside the neck and the head is glued, but it's not like, well, so to speak, like really, really hard glued. So I think with like a little bit of force, you can pop it out and then you can put this head on the upcoming tactical suit, the Tony Stark suit from Spider-Man. And I think it doesn't damage it too much for the neck peg right here. You can adjust it up and down. And if you pop it off, you can pop it back on. So that's pretty much going to be it for the accessories. So going into the actual figure itself, um, since this being my first Spider-Man figure, I think it's done actually really, really well. It's a much smaller figure than the standard Mezco um, 112 figures, but it works with him because, you know, Tom Holland um, in the new spot in the MCU Spider-Man, he's still in high school, or at least he's supposed to be in every Spider-Man, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, and his body definitely reflects it. So just going on to, over the articulation real quick, he looks up very, very nice like that. So you can definitely do some nice wall crawling and swinging abilities. Has a nice ball peg, so you can go tilt really nice, left and right. And then his arms go past 90. I think there's a bicep swivel in there, or it's probably just on the shoulder peg and then double jointed elbows and then you know the typical twist and swivel for the wrists so i love the fact that they gave him a little bit more range of motion because he is spider-man so he does have to do more dynamic poses and then he has ab crunch that goes really really nice goes back really really nice and then there's a twist in there i don't know if you guys can hear it but there's like some clicking which I, it, at least it lets me know that it's there securely and it's not gonna like break and like fall like time to time. And then he has this, the drawstring for his jacket. There you go, just to keep it secured. And then his legs, he does the splits exceptionally well. As you can see right here, he has double jointed knees. And then I know some people were, when they first saw promo images of him, that he was too small and they were worried that he wasn't going to have double joints with the elbows and the knees. And, you know, I understand with it being Spider-Man, or I understand in general how some people like to complain and be like, oh, we need double joints, double joints. It's nice. It's definitely a very nice feature, but I don't think it's necessary. As long as, you know, as long as you can pose it pretty well, as long as it's nice, like, it's not that big of a deal. And then he can kick his leg up all the way to the front. That much to the back, that much to the back too. And then his ankles go down pretty well. You can focus, there we go. They go down pretty well. They go up really nice compared to the Thor um, figure. And then he has some nice ankle rocker right there. So that's gonna be it for the articulation. Now I went ahead and swapped out some of the hands just to show you guys um, the dynamic ability for him. And I know I'm saying this like he's my first Spider-Man figure and he actually is my first Spider-Man Mezco figure. So please excuse me if I'm still a noob and still pretty impressed with this. But I love the fact that his webs plug into the hands. It gets a little like it's um, recessed in his hands on the inside. So you can fit the webs into it and it actually looks pretty pretty dope like he actually looks really really nice i'm not gonna lie the, the amount of detail on him like some people say that his like his clothes are baggy but i mean come on it has to be bad you gotta keep you gotta keep in mind that um one you need hit you need it to be baggy to have a range of motion to be flexible and to be like able to do stuff like that you know if it's not baggy it's gonna be tight it's gonna be kind of like the 
I think like the black suit Spider-Man suit where it's kind of tight and you're worried that it might the fabric might stretch or you know like come on you know it's 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 all about range of motion plus also this is his homemade suit and I don't remember uh, the movie 100% but you gotta keep in mind that it is a homemade suit so it's not gonna be perfect by any means it's something that Peter Parker made himself but yeah that's enough about that so I love the fact that he has a hood that can come up like that his spider logo on the chest is actually really really nice I like the glossy on the glossiness on it um, this is I believe want to say a separate piece yeah I think like he's wearing like a whole bodysuit underneath like the blue bodysuit is like one whole piece and then I think the sweater is a separate piece maybe there will be some youtuber in the future who cut or who takes it off and uses it for something else who knows but yeah in terms of overall quality I want to give this a good good solid probably 8.5 maybe 9 um, the only reason why is just because I don't know to be honest I just feel like the colors I feel like the blue could maybe be a little bit more vibrant but honestly that's just me being really nitpicky at it but overall quality is very very a one now i just want to show you guys the tom holland head sculpt that comes on it and in person it does look a little dark like his skin tone but it's honestly nothing too bad but his likeness is very very nice especially when you actually put his head onto the body it's i think i'm gonna keep his unmasked head on it for a good while and then just to show you guys the other web accessory now mine came bent out of the packaging which is kind of a bummer as you can see like right there how it curves once it leaves his hand but it's honestly nothing too bad it's just you know an unfortunate occurrence but yeah overall i'm very very happy with this release even if it wasn't going to be a mesco exclusive all right my apologies that was my dog but yeah even if this guy wasn't a mesco exclusive i probably still would have picked him up because even though I am a huge, huge DC fan, um, Spider-Man is one of the few Marvel characters that I actually are really, really into. Like, I love Spider-Man, like his whole like stick, his cockiness for being a high school superhero, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not a professional YouTuber by any means. I'm just a guy who loves making videos and enjoying showing off his collection and this hobby. So yeah, so, you know, please excuse me if I make mistakes or if I forget to say certain things but yes overall I am very 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 happy with this release I can't wait for the uh, Tony Stark suit that's coming out hopefully soon I have that I've, I've had that fully paid off pre-ordered since probably like the summer or mate or something like that I know he's been announced sooner than that but like yeah I've, I've had him fully paid off for a while now just waiting on it it's got a, a shout out shout out to Sculptimo Toys. Thank you Sculptimo Toys for the awesome awesome service. If you guys are interested in trying to get uh, Mezcos or pre-order Mezcos, they do do payment plans and they do do pay in full plans. So you know they can do whatever meets your guys' budget. So huge shout out to you guys at Sculptimo Toys. I can't wait to get the Tony Stark Spider-Man suit when it does come out. So yeah that's probably going to be it guys. Oh look there you go. He's like, yeah, check me out. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, that's that's going to be it for the review. If you guys like my videos, if you guys um, want to see me continue doing reviews, because I don't know if I want to do like a be like a reviewer, maybe just, you know, show my pickups here and there, do like hunt videos. But if you guys do like some of my reviews, please let me know down below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it, guys. This is going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for all your support. If you guys like this video, please consider pressing that like button. If you guys are new to the channel or if you guys are liking my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.